Picture this. On this corner, gun rights activists staged a protest. Just a few feet away, lawyers mall teeth with people who support taking firearms away from convicted domestic abusers. It turned into one of those rare circumstances when opposing sides discovered they can agree. I was soon to be. Moms demand action for gun sense, rallying to take firearms away from those convicted of domestic violence crimes. You all of each should be ashamed. It's not. Initially meeting resistance from a small but boisterous group defending Second Amendment rights. They need to defend themselves. But this wouldn't last long. Each side listened to the other's position and support for taking guns away from domestic violence abusers gained an ally. We support the moms in this, in that we're all against the domestic um, abusers. We believe they're criminals. They shouldn't have handguns or guns of any kind. Former police officer Angela Wright and her daughter brought tears to the eyes of many recalling the abuse of her gun-toting husband. And I would often wake up in the middle of the night or in the morning with the sound of spin, click, spin, click, as he played Russian roulette with the gun in the back of my neck. She thought she had removed all his guns. I realized I mistakenly left one gun behind. He came towards me to kill me. I called 911, my own police department, and they arrived with his shotgun to my forehead in time to save my life. Current Maryland law prohibits convicted domestic abusers from purchasing firearms. However, the statute doesn't require anyone to turn in guns they already own. But once the person has been told in court that they have to dispose of their guns, they have three days and they can either take those to the police department and turn them in, or they can go to a licensed gun dealer and sell them. Either place, they get a receipt. In addition to some Second Amendment rights advocates, the proposed legislation is also gaining bipartisan support. It's still being drafted, but is expected to be introduced sometime this week. In Annapolis, David Collins, WBAL-TV 11 News.